So today we're going to continue on and actually probably finish up the learn typography by building a nutrition label. Um, so I believe we're on the last stretch now, there's only a few more steps left. Um, and as you can see, our label is actually coming together quite nicely. Um, we've got a lot of CSS, a lot of reused classes, which is cool as well. Um, so as you can see here now, step 61, create another P element below the large divider. And we want to give it vitamin D. Um, and this, I'm just going to grab that. So, and actually I'm going to grab, because the HTML is quite long now, I'm going to grab this and actually make this a comment so we can refer to it later. Um, so below the large divider, let's use this um, and grab that. And then we want to give it vitamin D like so, and use the span to make 10%. Uh, oops, sorry, that actually should go there. And then I'll change this to 10% and take off three grams there. Um, so to right align it, but not make it bold. So we just change that to right. And let's see if we take the comment out. Does that pass the test? Yep. And I know you can't see that behind, but there it is. So submit and let's go to the next one. So step 62, create another one. Um, and then we actually, it looks like there's two. So I'm just gonna, again, copy this, comment it out. Um, and on Mac, I'm just using command um, forward slash and that just puts everything in a comment like so. So let's get these two. So we want calcium. That is um, 260 mg, and the align is right with 20%. And then another P element, which is iron, Oops, iron. that's 8 mg, so 8 mg, that's 45%. Again, class of right, but not bold, I think, for all of those. So let's just check that. Yeah, perfect. Um, so create the final P element for your daily value section. Give it potassium, align 6% to the right, and remove the bottom border of the P element. Um, so let's just grab that. And it was, sorry, I should have done the comment thing again, um, but it was potassium. Uh, is that how you spell it? Let's see, potassium. Yeah, and we just want to remove the border of the P elements. That's six percent. And this one will be class. Um, is it no dash divider below that? I think. Let's check that. There we go. So step 50, uh, sorry, 64, add a medium divider after the daily ele value element. Um, and below that, a new divider, create a P element with the class set to note. And then we want to give it the following text. So we want a medium divider. So that was the div with the class of divider, uh, MD, something like so. Let's close off the div. And below that, a P element, closing P, oops, um, class attribute equals note, and inside is just that string of text. And I think that should pass, there we go. And then we just want to create a note selector for that text. Font um, dash size will be 0.6 rem. And then top and bottom margins to 5px, removing the left and right. So that would be margin. So 5px top and bottom, zero left and right. Uh, I just need to spell margin correctly. Margin. And uh, let's see how that looks. So there we go. That is our uh, nutrition label. So let's check that code. And step 66, give the note selector left and right padding eight pixels. So padding. So, um, so zero top and bottom, and then eight pixels left and right, and then text dash indent minus eight pixels. Um, 
So let's just see how that looks. So that says now with the last changes, your nutrition label is complete. So there we go, that is our nutrition label. Let's check, just finally check the code. Great, we've passed that, so excellent. Well, well done for um, getting through that. I hope that was useful as well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next set of videos. Thanks for watching.